Today we're at Snow River Resort, which is near Ironwood. If you're making a trip and you want to experience a lot, it's a perfect spot to go to because you could stay here for five days and never have to repeat the same hill twice. Right now, our goal is to ski as many runs as we possibly can. The first one up is Jackson Creek Summit. Let's go. Beautiful out right now. I love this snow coming down. One of my favorite things is they've got this beautifully undercut gladed runs where they have cleared out most of all the brush and the sticks and stuff like that. So there's these awesome lines that you could pick where you can just flow in and out of them. And it's super, super fun. I'm gonna go take another one of those runs. I feel like I need to do a better job of explaining what these two ski areas are and how they relate to each other. So I'm gonna tell you that as we ride up this chairlift. Snow River Mountain Resort is made up of two ski areas and the lift ticket gets us access to both. Personally, I don't know the stats, so I'm gonna read them from their site as if I do. Annual snowfall, 17 feet. Vertical drop, 638. 400 acres of ski area, 56 trails, eight tree runs, three terrain parks, and 11 lifts. Right now, we're riding Jackson Creek Summit, but if you're only interested in learning about Black River Basin, well, just jump ahead to this time in the video. And the little bit of dusting that we got makes everything just something to bite into when you carve a little bit. Yeah, I love it. It's really nice. So Now it's time to go get something to eat. I think I'm gonna go sweet chili boneless wings and then nacho supreme, please. Uh, I'll have the cold iron IPA. Cold iron is from right here in Ironwood. The fun is that you get to explore a Bloody Mary. So you don't know what it's gonna come with it. This one looks like we got pretty standard like pickle olive combo, but then look at that added meat stick. A full meat stick. Yeah. And that one passes the test. I love when they have just a little bit of pepperiness to them, where they almost have like, like a slight bit of like dill, the bitterness of it. That's good. What? I said, I kind of wish I would have got one. They're new to you. They're new to consider. We're finishing up the day at Black River Basin. This is the first time I've ever skied this particular hill. So there's a lot of spots that I wanna check out because I was looking at the map earlier and it looks like there's a couple of cool runs that kind of loop around the backside of it. Black River Basin is open Thursday through Sunday and it's for a pretty cool reason. They leave the hill natural through the week and then on Thursday, everyone gets to ride the week snow accumulation. We didn't know about this when we arrived and we were very, very pleasantly surprised. There's some, a little bit more like rugged train changes I feel like in this on, yeah. on my first few runs. The hill itself is like a little bit more challenging in a good way, like where you actually have to like really pay attention and like work on riding. <laughs> have lightsaber battles on the hill. Lucky. I'm assuming the Black River Basin got its name from the Black River that runs right over there. We fell in love with this area because of the Black River. 
We came here summer, fall, and winter just to check out the Black River, which of course then empties out into the Black River Harbor. And I think it's a really cool area. And there's a couple of cool views from on top of these hills right here that I really like to see. You can see the Black River right over there. Looks like there's a border cross run right over here where they've got it painted and kind of uh, sectioned off. I hope it's open for us to ride because I love riding those. I know I'm lucky man, but I don't feel lucky man. Why can't I feel what I know? Still ain't got what I wanted man. Same cause, same suffering. I know I reap what I sow. I know I'm lucky man, but I don't feel lucky man. Why can't I feel what I know? Still ain't got what I wanted, man. Same cause, same suffering. I know I reap what I sow.